Daily Gospel Reading and Reflection Monday of the fourth week in Ordinary Time From the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 5, verse 1 to 20 Jesus and his disciples came to the other side of the sea, to the territory of the Gerasenes, when he got out of the boat. At once a man from the tombs who had an unclean spirit met him. The man had been dwelling among the tombs, and no one could restrain him any longer, even with a chain. In fact, he had frequently been bound with shackles and chains, but the chains had been pulled apart by him and the shackles smashed, and no one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the hillsides, he was always crying out and bruising himself with stones, catching sight of Jesus from a distance. He ran up and prostrated himself before him, crying out in a loud voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. He had been saying to him, And clean spirit, come out of the man, he asked him, What is your name? He replied, Legion is my name, there are many of us. And he pleaded earnestly with him not to drive them away from that territory. Now a large herd of swine was feeding there on the hillside, and they pleaded with him, Send us into the swine, let us enter them, and he let them. And the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine. The herd of about two thousand rushed down a steep bank into the sea, where they were drowned. The swine herds ran away and reported the incident in the town and throughout the countryside, and people came out to see what had happened. As they approached Jesus, they caught sight of the man who had been possessed by Legion, sitting there clothed and in his right mind, and they were seized with fear. Those who witnessed the incident explained to them what had happened to the possessed man and to the swine. Then they began to beg him to leave their district. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed pleaded to remain with him. But he would not permit him but told him instead, Go home to your family and announce to them all that the Lord in his pity has done for you. Then the man went off and began to proclaim in the Decapolis what Jesus had done for him, and all were amazed. Gospel Reflection In today's Gospel, the image of a herd of 2,000 pigs rushing into a lake may evoke a smile. But the herdsman's reaction reveals a sobering truth. Their anger at the loss of material possessions, the pigs, contrasts sharply with their indifference to the man freed from demonic possession. This juxtaposition underscores a prevalent human tendency to prioritize material wealth over the well-being of fellow human beings. The possessed man, living a tortured existence among tombs, becomes a stark reminder of our inclination to prioritize personal gain, rather than extending compassion to those in desperate need. In reflecting on this, let us strive to emulate Jesus, who consistently placed the dignity and well-being of individuals above material considerations, challenging us to break free from the chains of selfishness that hinder genuine happiness. Today's Prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we reflect on the Gospel account of the herd of pigs and the possessed man, we recognize the stark contrast between material priorities and the dignity of human life. Grant us the grace to overcome the lure of selfishness that places material possessions above the well-being of others, May our hearts be open to the teachings of Jesus, who consistently prioritized compassion and human dignity over worldly gains. Help us to break free from the chains of materialism and embrace a selfless love that seeks the welfare of those in need. Guide us, Lord, to view the world through the lens of empathy and kindness, recognizing the intrinsic value of every individual. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.